No, we're just waiting for you to wake up and get up. It is very early. It's early, we know. No, it's okay, go, rub your eyes. You can rub we'll your eyes. Give you some yeah. time to go make a cup of coffee as well. Yeah, grab your phone, take it with you. You can go grab a cup of coffee. All right, guys, yeah, welcome to the second public day of the South African uh, Festival of Motoring. And uh, we are out here, and we've taken a little bit of a shuttle drive up to the... The top of Leukorp. Top of Leukorp, yeah. Uh, West Bank Corner is just behind us. We're going to show you a little bit of that. But this is the 4x4 activation. So they've got a 4x4 track up here at uh, Kailami. And there's a, a number. We've got about four or five different manufacturers up top here. Six, if I count correctly. Uh, yeah, We're be. standing with at the, right at the very top. Right uh, at the very top. At the Haval stand. Haval stand, okay. So uh, Lawrence is here. Uh, my name's Chad. Lawrence here next to me, in case you didn't know. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to our two viewers. Uh, nice, bright and early. Well, that's not that early. The gate's been open for about 10 minutes. 30 minutes or so, yeah. Um, the 4x4 activation, the reason why we're doing this one so early is this one's only going to open in about half an hour, an hour's time. And uh, we thought, while it's quiet, we give you a bit of an idea of what's going on here. So we're going to take a walk around. We're going to take a look at what is here. As we say, we've got uh, Habal that has a stand here. We're going to swing you around. You don't need to look at our ugly mugs all the time. So on the Hoval stand, they have the likes of the Steed 5, this is your uh, lovely workhorse, uh, these are on display, Steed 6, which is a nice, uh, slightly more elegant, opulent, uh, daily double driving, cab. double cab there, Steed 6, Steed 5E also, very tiny looking vehicle, that's, uh, we're going to be reviewing some of them in, the in, uh, in a little while. Now one of the main reasons we're up here is because the, as we mentioned in our previous video, Hoval launched the new H9. They actually have a bunch of the H9s up here that are actually tackling the uh, four-wheel drive track uh, to show off that the vehicle is not just luxurious but also incredibly capable. So uh, maybe a little bit later today, uh, if we decide to come back up this neck of the woods, uh, we'll uh, jump in, uh, jump in an H9 and show you just how capable it is off road. Yeah, we'll make you a live video from one with uh, go around with one of the drivers. If not today, then maybe tomorrow. Then maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I mean we've got the whole weekend here per se. Okay, so we've got these. Uh, of all H9s here, and the guys are going to be on hand, like I say, they're not on the stand at the moment. They'll, they'll be here at about 9 o'clock, when the rest of the show opens, really. I tell you what, the more I look at it, this H9 is actually a good-looking vehicle. It's got some uh, Patrol Prado sort of vibes to it. Pajero. Pajero as well, yeah, Pajero long wheelbase, Pajero Sport as well. Um, I'm seeing that sort of in the swage lines in the center there. Yeah. Um, and it's looking really good, and I mean, the interior is nice and attractive, very nice and attractive. So, in a short while, we're going to be doing the official launch of the Haval H9. Oh, no, well, this was the official this whole weekend is there because there are official observations here. But we're going to get on to test in a little while. So uh, we go to that. Okay, take a look at the lovely blue skies. The reason why I'm doing this is because we want to do this walk with you. Um, Suzuki South Africa has set up a beautiful little stand here and this is now the Jimny Walk. Is this the actual walkway? Yeah, wear comfy shoes guys. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't wear high heels. Alright, so it starts out. They have a, a an example of each and every version of the Jimny ever created. So this is a 1974 LJ50 and uh, they, they give you a little bit of a history around it. Uh, 540cc little engine that makes 51 kilowatts. Let's take a look on the inside. We really do appreciate these sort of classic vehicles. I mean just take a look at the canvas hinges here. Uh, okay, not the entire hinge that's canvas but uh, that's the interior here of this, the SJ50. I mean, it really is. It's a 19, uh, what are we, a 1974 model? 19, 1974 model. This car is older than I am. Yeah, well, as Lawrence says, they're yelling out in the distance. Older than what Lawrence is, and uh, that's saying something because he's, old, he's as old as dust. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> well, right. I, SJ410 is the next one up here. Uh, this is a 1983, sorry, you were gonna say? I just wanna say, let's not show everybody too much. I think you need to leave a little to the imagination. Basically, you know, we, every you know, incarnation Fair of Germany is up here. Um, so we don't want to show, give away too much. We yeah, actually do details. want you to come and have a look at these beautiful, beautiful specimens of uh, Germany. You can get tickets. Tickets are at itickets.co.za. 200 uh, bucks a pop. 200 bucks a pop, but there is a promo code. Um, and I think we'll post it in the comments in this video. Yep. Uh, in, once we're done with it, we'll go and post it in. But, and that'll get you a bit of a discount, an auto trader yep. discount. And then also just remember, uh, kids under six, uh, it's only like 10 bucks. And kids uh, 12, 50 bucks. Uh, kids over 12, then it becomes 200 grand. So yes, 
it is really bring the family with yeah. the kids with you. there is a lot for the kids to do here and we will get to that shortly okay so i'm going to take a run around here to show you these but you need to come and take a look at them in person okay so we've got the sj410 and morris is quite great the sj413 um, this one's here of course so one of the first to feature that 1300 engine um, then we move we of course got a nice little example of the samurai here that was very popular on the beaches and then of course the previous generation the 33 I'm just taking a look at this. This is a Suzuki Jimny owned by a Jimmy. Well done, well done. All right, uh, because Suzuki did, of course, launch the new Jimny. And I'll tell you what, this is actually a stonking vehicle. Can't wait to get my hands on this. I think I'm going to, uh, I'm really falling in love with the way that it looks and the interior design. This is the GA model that comes with the pressed steel wheels. Um, available in GA and GL model and then of course GL Auto um, pricing from about 265,000 Rand for this one here this isn't exact spec these are UK spec vehicles um, but the exterior is going to look the same the only difference is going to be there's going to be a few changes to the interior in terms of uh, infotainment uh, one or two little odds and ends but it, on the exterior it's going to look virtually now, in our videos yesterday and the day before we showed you the jungle green and uh, toxic green or orange or whatever color it is that yeah, they call the it. emergency services yellow. Yes. Uh, I actually think it looks very very fetching in white. It does look good in white. It's got a defender look to, to it in white. This uh, is this is the one that you buy when you live in the city. You don't take it off the road. True. True. But excellent looking vehicle all around. I did ask uh, our friends at Suzuki what it says in Japanese on the spare wheel cover and they can't tell me this, we'll find out. Uh, I have Google Translate on, on my phone, so I'm going to go and snap that and have find Google out. Translate. Because there, there are actually three different vehicles here and each vehicle has a different uh, kanji on the, on the rear cover. Yeah, so it's I'm really... Just taking, I'm just taking a look. I know we don't want to show too much, but I mean, this is the new vehicle. I'm just taking a look. And as we say, this is UK spec, so it's going to be a little different. But take a look at the bash guard that diff protector there. Yeah. I, I, can't, I can't wait to get my hands on this. So really, I, 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 all I can say wave is at the guys. It's really, 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 really do need to get your way back. That's unfortunate. Jimmy's going to be taking a look at up here. Just displaying. Alright, yep, so uh, we will get a chance at that. Alright, taking a look here. This is now VW. This is one step down. So uh, these guys have got a whole. Alright, so right the way for a cleaner ocean is what they say. Yeah, they've got a bit of a photo activation. And uh, take a look at a nice, massive wave made out of, well, plastics. And it really just drives home the point that, you know, plastics are littering our ocean. And uh, maybe, yeah. I'm sure that there's places where the waves are pretty much comprised of just pretty much waste like plastic. This. So yeah, this is another one of the things that you can do at VW. We'll get to the rest, but essentially this is one of the family activations. So you come along, mom and dad can go for a drive, and uh, the kids can have a bit of fun. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we we're taking a look at a at a, at a plastic. Yeah, plastic plastic shark over there. Yeah, that's please, plastic shark. Please, no baby shark. <laughs> I really, I can't oh, no. up with that song. No, 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 no baby shots. Alright, we're just gonna flip around. Like I said, we are up here at West Bank. see a little bit of the racing here this is of course uh, West Bank Corner um, they didn't really didn't, didn't really change too much of this no, the um, tree's still there. Toby Fenter even left the tree up so there's a tree over there that is uh, you can see the large green tree over there to the right of your screen and that is a uh, that is a sort of a Sorry, GT40. Uh, 
mean, it is kind of alarming. There has to be a bit of racing, so let's follow the guys here quickly and then we get back to what's happening here at the 4x4 track. I should also mention that it is an active race weekend. We do have uh, Sassel GTC, there's uh, almost 1600. Uh, there's also classic cars, cars. So kids to take a spin around the track and then of course you can go out with one of the instructors in the uh, Amarok and see just how good that full motion all-wheel drive system is on the rough stuff and they've got quite a challenging course here at uh, so at the festival of motor we're just taking a look here because yeah, we, we're casting our eyes actually skyward because we've got a beautiful zip line here for another uh, thing for the kids to have fun on yeah and zip around the city Dad's allowed so, to go on that way down to the bottom of the stand there. Don't worry, there are helmets and all that provided for everybody. Uh, all right, we're gonna take a look here. Yes, sorry, my framing is a uh, sketch this morning. Sorry, we haven't had coffee yet. No, no, we haven't. That's, that's pretty much why the shakes are happening here. I need coffee to sort of dial things in a little bit. All right, so here are some of the vehicles that uh, you can go around in. Of course, the uh, V6 TDI, VW Amarok. We move uh, one over and we see a lineup of uh, Mercedes-Benz X-Classes and yes you can go and sample the X-Class of course they launched the X350D which is the diesel the, the, the V6 diesel variant overseas we will only be getting it uh, next year okay yeah, well yeah they, it they is on display uh, here so you can display. see what uh, what you uh, what's coming but uh, not available for test drives yet. All right, so I'm just going to take a walk through these giant X's here and take a look. We'll show you, where you what happens. So you take a waltz up here and uh, you're going to join the guys in. You're going to join these lovely gents over here and they're going to say good morning and welcome. And uh, they'll let you know here are the different sessions that you'll be able to uh, go and sample. So you just go and you sign up, you register for a session and uh, you can go out on the track in a sedan. You can go out on some of the AMG vehicles and of course the X-Class vehicles. And uh, this is all Mercedes-Benz's activations happening here at the South African Festival of Motor. A lovely air-conditioned little uh, room for you here. And we're going to go out the same door. You don't usually exit that door. We're going to go out the same door, but it's just so much easier. But it is. I, I, and back I, I, I take my hands off to to Merck. This is a very very nice installation that they've got up here, um, and very welcoming. They're really pulling out the stops. I think they've got about 110 vehicles, which are in total for, at the whole show. Which which are we're going to say track active. So we're going to call this a track as well. It's a four x four track uh, here and on the race track itself, as well as self drive. I believe that the A class is available for self drive. That could be very interesting. Yeah, the new A class was only launched about two, two weeks, weeks ago. ago yeah. So. Um, Ford is over here as well. We're going to move on from Mercedes Benz over to Ford, and they've got a couple of Rangers and Everests here. And uh, you'll be able to go for a four by four drive in these. Now, these are all free, these are all part of the you know, part of your entry price, part of your ticket yeah. price. Now, one of the things that I was oh, plenty food. I, quite I need surprised breakfast. by up here on the four by four. Volvo, yeah, so Volvo's got his up here at the 4x4 track, and that was pleasantly surprising because while they're all wheel drive vehicles, they're not dedicated to 4x4s. Now, we had the luxury of being able, and I do say luxury, yeah, to tackle yesterday afternoon, we tackled the 4x4 course in a Volvo XC60. Yeah. Now, you wouldn't say that a luxury city sort of car off road to there. We didn't do 
through some of the serious encounters, but that's mainly because of the approach and departure angles, which I'll get a little more for city time, not dedicated to the last four. But you can come here, jump on the and see just how capable they are. We were we were pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. And they've got they've got a whole host of vehicles, so XC90s, XC60s, V60s, cross country. There's uh, XC40s as well, yeah. XC40 and, uh, won't be doing the We've actually got a new review out on the XC40 and the XC60. Yep, XC60, those are all out there. So the guys are busy grooming the track here, but it is quite arduous. Uh, do we have a vehicle out there we can just show them? I, there were time. a few earlier, but uh, I think we're sort of waiting for yeah. the off on the track again after they finish filling up the cars. So you take a look there, and you've got a, a probably about a 30 degree, oh, 30 30 degree about embank a embankment. It's not quite 45. Uh, that would be a 28. 28, yeah. 24, yeah. 24 yeah. 60 about. And then of course we've got some soft silty sand that's busy being raked there as if it was a bunker. Big climbs, axle busters, pipe crossings, the whole works. And uh, these vehicles are being put through their paces here. And you can sample a little bit of that. So I'm going to flip you guys around again. All two of you that are still with us. <laughs> and uh, we know that you're at home and we know that you're using your own data and your, your home Wi-Fi so and whatever. Keep it short. So we're going to keep it shorter than usual. This is pretty much the 4x4 experience and uh, you can you grab can, a shuttle. I'm going to say you could probably spend your entire morning up here. Comfortably, comfortably. comfortably. And this is only one small section of the entire show. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to sign off. We're going to make our way back down to the uh, track side. There's a couple of tech talks. Please don't forget about the tech talks. If you're into information and technology and electrification and the future of motoring in terms of the digitization of it we are going to be having a whole host of tech talks we also have the racing legends so we're going to be chatting to the i am actually of, uh, Terry Moss, so Mike looking Briggs. forward to that i think mike Briggs is here um i, I believe on this i know Willie hepburn and sorry for the mike briggs uh, they were all on the uh, the list of people that so i'm really because these were my motorsport heroes yeah, growing absolutely. up absolutely i'm so racing looking here forward at Carlo, to, yeah. to that that's at 11 AM. 11 AM. And then we've got a couple of text features in between. We've got people from Volvo talking about their cars. We've got so a lot of uh, the technology of motoring. Stuff to you know, really whet your appetite if you're a tech head. Yeah. And uh, our CEO, George Mini, is going to be delivering a little bit of a speech in terms of how technology is going to possibly alter the future landscape of motoring. So really cool stuff. Um, those are just sort of like a little, and not even a conference, just a little chat, a little you talk, can like walk a tech in, talk type walk in, sit down, catch a few. If you're not interested, you can get up and leave. Yeah. It's going to stop you. Nice and easy. But there is so much to do here. We do want to just put out a little bit of a warning. Please just to be patient when coming in and out. Uh, we're seeing streams and streams of cars. And of course, they're trying to regulate the traffic in and around. So there so are a couple of roadblocks there's a couple on Allendale and Main. On, on uh, but not police roadblocks, they're just uh, access roadblocks. So uh, just be patient getting in here, leave uh, 30 minutes earlier than you ordinarily would, and uh, just be patient and let's uh, let's all work together. You will get in. I will say uh, this They're though. trying to make it nice and as smooth as possible, and it's just with the volumes that they're just really struggling. Comfy shoe. You back yet? Are ah. you back? Ah, see. Yeah, that, that does my voice match my mouth? Maybe, hoping. maybe not. All right, but in case we were signing off, so we're going to sign off here. Um, just wanted guys, to say, yeah, just be comfy shoes, a hat, sunblock. It is hot. You're going to be in the sun the whole day. Yes, yeah. Come and have some fun. Come. Come prepared and be prepared to spend a while here so that you can see everything. I want to thank you guys for watching. We're going to be bringing you a couple more videos in the, in a short while. Uh, we're also going to be just catching one or two of those tech talks as well. And uh, yeah, just follow Auto Trader social media for a little more information and a couple of sneak peeks as to what the show holds. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll chat to you later. Cheers.